Australia's vast geographic size means that many of the country's energy resources operations are found in some of the most remote and challenging environments in the world. And with crucial spare parts often taking days or weeks to arrive on site, lengthy delays to normal operations can cost millions of dollars. But now the entrepreneurial spirit, which has underpinned Australia's economic growth in recent decades, has come up with a novel solution. With the support of NERA, Melbourne-based Speed3D has rewritten the rules on 3D printing and developed a new process which can quickly, easily and cheaply print metal parts and components on site. Metal casting is a very slow and labour intensive and often expensive process. And we thought 3D printing was probably one of the best ways in improving that technology, but the world wasn't doing it. Rather than waiting for days or weeks for parts to come through normal supply chains, we can print metal parts up to 45 kilograms in size, up to a metre in diameter. That's much larger than most 3D printers can do. Speed 3D's ability to quickly scale and commercialise their product was aided by NERA, which supported the development of their technology, particularly for the oil and gas industry. Speed3D's technology is an amazing solution to being able to deliver um, these solutions at point of need. So they really are um, a great example of Australian know-how, collaboration and innovation. The development of this groundbreaking technology is enhancing Australia's sovereign capability in manufacturing at the same time as translating world-leading research into a truly commercial opportunity. And the potential financial savings, coupled with the rapid speed of deployment, means the technology has huge potential across many industries, including oil and gas. I'm really excited about Speed3D's printing technology because it offers such a fast turnaround time, which is something that is often, particularly in Australia, a problem for us. Speed3D's metal printing process is called supersonic 3D deposition and uses supersonic jet engines that spray at three times the speed of sound, making printing extremely fast and energy efficient. And while there's been strong interest from industry and even the military, Speed3D's next step opens up new horizons in the energy sector. Speed3D's movement into producing stainless steel as a 3D printed part is, is really critical because the energy sector, steel is their medium of choice. And again, the ability to produce those products at point of need using stainless steel will open up a whole new world for Speed3D at a facility like an LNG plant uses an awful lot of stainless steel and so it's that volume that really creates the opportunity for us as part of the LNG industry. Speed 3D's rapid and continuing growth wouldn't have been possible without the funding and support provided by NERA, as well as the quality assurance and oversight of the project provided by Charles Darwin University. We've been very fortunate to be able to work with NERA I would certainly recommend to other innovators to engage with the industry growth centres. They're going to be able to provide you industry knowledge and this can be invaluable when you're small and learning with a new technology to know what it is you're going to be facing for this technology to be successful. We really need to be leading and participating in the, in the race for technology and advanced manufacturing and companies like Speed3D are absolutely critical to this. So I think Speed3D is a, is a fantastic example of why collaboration is so important if we're going to be a smart country.